Hi, this is Jack Peters from CTC, and I wanted to take a couple minutes today to talk about our dual output vibration and temperature sensors. Let me say up front that we have two different families of sensors, the centigrade family and the Kelvin family. And with these two different temperature scales, you can measure the vibration and the temperature of the machine at the same time. Now, be aware that the temperature is the measurement which is inside of the accelerometer. This is done through a small integrated circuit. Um, it's very trendable, much like your vibration data, so don't worry that it's not the absolute measurement you're bearing. If the temperature changes, you will still measure that. In our centigrade family, we would have 10 millivolts per degree C, starting with a 10 millivolt per G, 100 millivolt per G, 100 millivolt per G side exit available in M6 or quarter 28, 500 millivolt per G top exit, and 100 millivolt per G side exit in M8. In our Calvin family, we would have a 100 millivolt per G top exit. We would have a 100 millivolt per G side exit in M6 or quarter 28, and a 100 millivolt per G in M8. And all of these Kelvin sensors would be 10 millivolts per degree K. So a couple of differences in the centigrade family, plus 3 to plus 121C would be the measurement range for the temperature sensor. And in our Kelvin family, because of the offset and scale, minus 40 centigrade to plus 100 centigrade. So we can measure below zero with the centigrade family. Each of these sensors has a three-pin configuration. In both families, the A pin is always the power and vibration output. In both families, the B pin is always the common connection. In the centigrade family, the C pin is 10 millivolts per degree C DC volts, and it's strictly an output. In the Calvin family, the C connection, or the C pin, is 10 millivolts per degree K, but it requires a power supply just like the accelerometer. So in the Calvin sensors, you have to have two power supplies. In the centigrade family, you only need to supply power to the vibration side of the sensor. So very important to remember the differences in the powering. Connect full confidence with CTC. Thank you.